Good morning everyone. Welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk. And today we are on this cloudy day at Liljeholmen station here. I came with the metro and um, yeah, let's go for a walk as usual. Temperature is a little warmer than yesterday. I would say it's about plus three or plus five degrees. And we are here at the square called Liljeholm Storget. And Torget means square in, um, in Swedish. There's like a lot of shops here and a little shopping mall and things like that. See, there you can see, but we're not going into the mall today. I think I'm gonna try to go over the bridge towards Hornstuhl to Södermalm here. That's if I can find it. Let's wait and see. <laughs> it's quite early in the morning. It's like nine o'clock I would say. It's funny how I sometimes go spontaneous uh, walks because I wasn't planning to do this at all. I was actually on my way to Zinkens Dam. There I wanted to make a walk on, on Söder. But then I realized, wait, it's been a long time since I've been to Liljeholmen and, and this route I've actually ne never filmed before. So yeah, it was a good idea. They've put up the Christmas tree here. Um, but there's no lights in it yet, so they're still working on it. You can see it everywhere in town. They're putting up all the lights, all the trees, and the shops are changing the decorations. So you can feel the good times are coming. This is the other entrance of the metro station. So here you have the tram line as well. It's waiting for the tram line. Oh yes, I'm going the right way. I see a sign. So the mom to the left. Be careful because it's really slippery and icy. Ah, oh, there it is, the sign. Hornstuhl, 800 meters. Nice little graffiti wall, kind of, but digital, not actually painted on the wall. All right, so let's have a look on the sign where we can go from here. I don't know, you can read it, it's a bit 
unclear actually. Right, on stool to the left. Oh. <laughs> Full of what? <clears throat> so we got all confused. She was like, oh, you go first. No, you go first. But not, not by words, you know, like more looking each other into the eyes and yeah, I think you know this feeling like sometimes you're walking on the street and then you can go either passing someone on the left or the right and then you look at each other and then within, I don't know, one, two seconds you change your mind like three times and the other person does the same and then you go a little like left, right, left, right with your head and then in the end you just both laugh and you go like, all right, you decide, don't care. That's what we just had. The only thing is that it becomes a bit awkward when you have a camera because then it's all on screen. So most of the little snow that fell is gone. Um, especially on the roads with a lot of traffic, but here you can still see it. But there's more coming, don't worry. So in front of us we see Sodomom, the South Island. Yeah, so from here you can go to Alvik and Grøndal. Um, Gröndal I've done another video I think when I walked from Lilleholmen to to Gröndal so you should check that out on my channel I think that was a nice uh, spring day so oh, from here you can see the water and even all the way to back you can see Gluben the globe. The, the globe is always a nice uh, reference point. So you kind of know where you're walking. I don't think I've walked over this bridge before. Um, as I maybe mentioned in some of my other videos, downtown Stockholm has around 50 or 52 bridges, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't think I've walked on all of them. But I'm getting close. I should have a look because I have a little notebook with all the bridges on it. And I think I'm getting really close. Um, Stockholm has 14 islands in the center. And um, I've walked on 13 or 14 of them. I think the only one that I haven't walked on yet is Stura Essingen. I've, on, I've been on Lille Essingen but not Stura Essingen. And yeah, I don't know why, but it just doesn't look so... Uh, appealing to me but I will do it at some point just haven't done it yet oh look at the sun's coming up there 
it's a bit hard to make good shots here because of this fence I think they're too afraid of people jumping off either for fun or as suicide And neither of it is good in this spot. Well, not that, not that suicide is every good thing, of course. Stupid thing to say, sorry. So over there, you probably remember it from the summer, Stanto London. You know, I went all the way up that hill over there. And also the allotment gardens on that side made a very nice walk. I think I'm walking fast today because on Google Maps it said this is a 20 minute walk. And I did it in 12. So oh, now I can have the good view here. Wonderful. Stockholm at its best. So here, down here, they have a special graffiti wall. which is made for that purpose, so people can go there and practice their graffiti. So instead of just practicing, you know, on buildings, which cost a lot of money because the city has to remove them all the time, it's better just to put down practice walls and people can show their artistic side and then others can just <coughs> go over it. So we are at Longholmsgatan and Liljeholmsbrun. That's what we just crossed. <coughs> and then in front of us we have Hornstuhl oh, over there. So we are back on Södermalm, my favorite island here in Stockholm. Maybe I am like sniffing a little bit. It's not because I si I'm sick, but it's, it's always the same, like, when the weather gets really cold in Stockholm, um, just, just, I, I just do that. I, I probably would going to do that all winter long. So don't worry about it, I'm not, not sick. In Spain, actually, we got tested every single day, because I was part of an event. And when you're in the event, in the bubble, you, we got tested every morning. Which wasn't too fun actually. Because they put like one of those sticks in your nose. <laughs> Quite far up, it feels like they're poking in your brain. All right, they're changing the pavement here. Even here they put on Christmas lights. Mm. 
nice with the birds. Alrighty, Hornstuhl's Centrum. Oh, let's go in anyway. Oh, still closed. Yeah, they open at 10 o'clock, so. It's quite funny, today someone answered me uh, ask me, oh, why don't you show your face? Is it because you have a tattoo on your face? No, I don't have a tattoo on my face. I just don't think it's interesting to show my face, that's all. Completely irrelevant for a walking channel. Because just imagine if I would show my face all the time or even once or whatever and people suddenly have an opinion about everything you know they're gonna comment on the way you look or oh you were wearing the same sweater yesterday or all that kind of stuff and then suddenly it becomes more of a thing that I have to think about my appearance and things like that and you know that's completely the opposite of what this channel is about this is just about displaying Stockholm I'm walking around exploring and um, yeah what I do is a little bit of an uh, addition with my voice to make it more interesting that's it all right thank you for watching see you tomorrow